today I have a thrift haul for you guys. Yay! So I'm super excited. I know I lied about coming back on YouTube. In the beginning of quarantine, I made a video and I just lied to you guys. So I'm here now making a thrift haul, which is obviously like my favorite if you guys been here since the beginning. When I had the pink hair, you guys know that I loved doing thrift hauls. So I've been thrifting a lot lately. I picked up a couple pieces and I cannot wait to show you guys. I actually went thrifting with my friend Danielle. Super fun, she's super sweet. Um, she has a YouTube channel, you guys probably know her as Twin L. Um, she has amazing content, thrifting content. So if you guys do wanna check that out, check her out she's amazing she will also be doing a thrift haul on what she found when we went thrifting together so with that being said let's just jump right into it this is one piece that i found i thought it was super funky it's a just a very sheer button up um it has like these fall colors to it so i really like that as a transitioning piece or a layering piece for fall so that's one of the pieces um i also found this button up as well it has almost like a there you go it's linen material but it almost like it's very sturdy like this material and it's like this burgundy and i just loved the colorway on it i thought it was really pretty um chico's design which you'll if you go thrifting you'll probably see that um that brand a lot it's a really good brand i feel like that clothes good quality so that's those and then i also found this super cute um it's yeah it's also a button up it's a button up but it has like this color block in the middle so it has like this pin striping down the middle with this floral detailing and almost like a paisley print as well and it's 100 percent silk so i love the fab like i love the material on this it's very soft and i love this also for like um a fall like transitioning piece and then i'm gonna go in with actually i'm still gonna keep doing tops but this was already just right here so i'm gonna show you guys no i'm gonna save this for last so this other top is super beautiful it's this white top and it has like all this pearl beading throughout it's so elegant and so pretty I just love it. I think it's beautiful. And it was actually brand new with tags when I purchased it, but obviously like I took the tags off to wash it because we need to be safe out here when we're thrifting, especially with COVID and stuff like that. So just make sure you wash your pieces. I also found this 100% silk um, top. I thought it was really like more of a trendier piece, but I do like the pattern on it. It's kind of like a Dalmatian pattern. Um, it's super cute um when i saw this i thought about my pinterest board so i had to take it this is another piece that i found um well i love this piece um it's just like this um it has like leaves all over it and it's just like a really it has shoulder pads it's very like more of an elegant piece and honestly i'll tell you why i love it so much mainly for the buttons so the buttons are so beautiful they have like this gold like they're just like white with like this gold detailing on the outside they're so beautiful and i just loved everything about this piece i thought it was so unique and i just i'm obsessed with the buttons because they're almost like a pearl with like this gold on it you know so i thought that was really pretty another top is this blue top it's a hundred percent silk as well it has shoulder pads it's a little bit on the bigger side but i knew i could style this like super easily and i love the colors on this like the blue is so beautiful and then like with like the like the more like fall colors like the browns and the coppers and like this like what would you call this like purple like color i don't know i thought it was super pretty though so that's another I have a lot I got a lot of stuff like oh my gosh this one I loved I love this one so much so this is a button up but I loved the colorway on this like look at the, these colors they're so beautiful and I like that it's black so I love this as a layering piece to be honest like during fall like I'm just ready for fall guys like all the fall vibes we are here for them this top is a Jones New York, which you'll probably see a lot if you go thrifting. 
Um, it was new with tags as well, but I purchased it. Well, I purchased it new with tags at the thrift store, but I obviously took them off to wash it. Um, and it was more of like this trendier piece, which I was kind of surprised it was even at the thrift store. It's a little wrinkly, I'm sorry. But it's like just like this tie front blouse with like the cinched in back. And it was just so pretty. Like, I couldn't believe that someone just donated this brand new and like they never wore it. I was like kind of shook, to be honest. For it to be like more of a trendier piece, I thought, you know, it's kind of rare. Um, the next piece is this sleeveless button up. And it's just like your basic button up, but it's cute because it has all this embroidery detailing right here. And then like the sheer peek through right here. And I thought it was so beautiful and it's such a unique piece. So that I had to buy, of course. Oh my God, this one's probably one of my favorite pieces. Um, this is like a, like a paisley mandala print top but I really loved it for like the sheer sleeves. I thought they were so cool. And when I styled this, I was like, oh my God, I want to keep it. But I probably won't to be honest because this is, even though I love this print and I love this style, I feel like this color might be a little bold for me. But I loved everything about it. It's so like Y2K, early 2000s kind of top. And I loved it. Another piece or another top I should say is this just like a very elegant basic like button down like top and it has like the little self ties in the back um it's very like just a basic piece but it's so easy to like wear as like a go-to like if you have nothing else to wear you can just throw this on with some jeans and you're good to go so I thought that was really cool oh this is by far my favorite piece that I picked up from the shirts of course so this top this is the back of it so it has like a little keyhole on the back and it's just like a crop top um button up but if you turn it around it has like the little collar clips on them and it's like a little cowboy top and it has like the little fringe on the pocket how cute is that i love this piece unfortunately it was a little big on me so i was kind of sad and it does have like these two little stains like it has one right here, but it kind of covers it when you button it. And then there's one in between the third and the fourth button. So it's not too bad, to be honest, but it's such a cute top. It's just a little big on me, which made me kind of sad, but it's okay. Um, now we're going to move on to the dresses. Surprisingly, I feel like every time I go to the thrift store, I find like so many dresses and I was like, it got to the point where I was like, okay, I need to stop buying dresses because I'm obsessed with like vintage maxi dresses for some reason. And when we went to the thrift store, I actually only found one dress and I wasn't even going to buy it because me and Danielle both were like, uh, like it's kind it's cute. Like it has potential, but like, I think it was just the way it was made. It's definitely homemade because you can tell by the inside of it like the outside it looks amazing but the inside you can tell it was definitely like homemade and I'll tell you some of the features that I like about it so it's like this vintage maxi dress and it has a beautiful pattern to it like it's amazing I just thought maybe the sleeves were kind of like awkward like like the length was kind of weird for a maxi dress but I love the buttons on it. The buttons have like this um, texture detailing on it. If you could kind of see. And the back has like a self, like a cinching on it. So like kind of like a corset style to like cinch in your waist a little bit more. And it goes all the way down. So it's pretty long. The only thing that was kind of weird was, I mean, I guess it's okay. But I did, I actually don't like it. I don't like that the buttons are like fake. <laughs> like they don't like actually button throughout. Like you have to use like this, um, what's called the hook and eye closures. And the person who made it, this dress made like a little like thread to like snap, like snap it through, which is like super cute and convenient. But I just feel like these are so hard to put on. Like when I was like trying to style this and I was buttoning it down, it was just like taking so long that I only buttoned it halfway. And um, I ended up styling it pretty cute. I really liked it, how it looked in the end, but 
it was one of those pieces that was like, eh, do I take it, do I not? So I took it. So that was it for the dresses. Um, now I'm just gonna show you guys the skirts that I picked up. I put this in my skirt category because I figured why not, but I got like this vintage slip for a skirt. I thought it was so pretty. It's a little wrinkly, don't mind that. Um, it has like the beautiful lace detailing at the bottom and it's more of like an ivory color So I thought that was really cute and it's kind of rare. I feel like for me personally. It's rare for me to find um, Like vintage slips that are in good condition that have like no pinholes or anything like that This one is in absolutely great condition. So I was super stoked about that Yay for me um, Another piece that I found was this skirt. Oh my god I loved everything about this skirt. The pattern, the buttons, the length. So it's this beautiful, just like maxi skirt, but it's obviously like a vintage maxi skirt. It has like a pleated detail on the back, but look at these buttons. How amazing are those buttons? They have like a white, like, I wouldn't say pearl, but they have like white middle. And then they have like this amazing gold detailing at the end and it kind of has like a texture to it. So it's pretty cool. So I thought that was super cute. Another skirt that I picked up was this one, also a vintage maxi. Um, it's kind of like a wrap around. So it zips up in the front and then it kind of wraps to like button on the side. But I loved the color way on this skirt just because it gave me, of course, fall vibes. I thought it was super cool, super cute, and I can definitely dress this up with some dots and a t-shirt, or even if I wanna dress it up a little bit more fancy, I can do like, I don't know, fancy stuff. <laughs> so another skirt is this blue skirt. Basic like, like, I wouldn't say a circle skirt, cause circle skirts are more like flowy, but I guess like a maxi skirt, I wanna say. But um, it's just very basic. I honestly just loved it for the color and the fact that it has pockets because us girls appreciate a skirt and shorts and jeans that have pockets because why not, you know? So I thought that was really pretty, super cute. I love the color. It definitely gave me more of like a 1950s kind of um, vibe when I saw this skirt and it kind of reminded me a lot of my pinup days so I had to get it. Um, okay, so now we're gonna move on to the jeans. I'm sorry if this is super long, but I did pick up a, quite a few items. So now off to the bottoms. So the first bottoms that I picked up were these Liz Claiborne, which is probably a brand you'll see all the time on um, at the thrift store. But they're just like these trouser pants. Um, I loved, like, I'm just obsessed with trousers. I have, I own way too many, but these are like a navy blue. Um, I love the material and I don't even know what it is Of course polyester, but it's more of like a softer fabric. I don't know, but I love these and They seem kind of basic here But when I tried them on they're super super high-waisted and I love me a high-waisted jean only because I do have short legs so this kind of helps me look a little bit taller i'm only 5'4 so that i had to put in my cart um another piece oh my gosh i loved these so these are capris and they are literally the definition of fall they're burgundy they're like a dark dark burgundy you can't even tell they're burgundy until you're up close to them and they have a plaid detailing on them like okay so these are the capris they have the plaid detailing right and then look at the bottoms so cute when i saw these i got so much like pin up vibes off of these and i have like these little right here i have like these little like mules and i thought like oh my god how cute like i could wear them with that like and i just had to pick them up i thought they were so cute and they fit so nice too and i like that the fabric is like kind of stretchy because i feel like a lot of the times like when i by capris like they're like super tight and I cannot get them through my thighs so those were amazing um this was actually a first time find for me so I picked up these jeans and when I was looking through the jean rack I usually just look at the material and I know whether if it's like Levi's or like 
um, Wrangler or Ryder jeans that I normally pick up. And then this, I loved the wash on them, but I wasn't sure what brand they were, and they were Dickies. I've personally never seen Dickie jeans other than Depop. But like I've never found any myself so I thought that was pretty cool these are just like a more of like a medium wash like black like a faded black Dickies jean I thought they were super cool they're kind of more of like a mid-rise but I mean I don't like that <laughs> normally I like my jeans really high-waisted so those are gonna go on my Depop for sure because I don't do mid-rise I just can't <laughs> Another bottoms that I found are these. These are not vintage, but they're more of like, oh, look at this leg though. This wide leg is like amazing. They're a size 10 petite, so they do fit me a little bit loose on the top. So if I were just to wear them normal, they would be kind of saggy on me because they would rest right on my hips. And these are super high waisted. I think when I measured these to put them on my Depop, I think they measured at 14 inches on the rise that's super high like you could even see it yourself like that's a long rise and they fit me a little too big but I loved the pattern on them and I loved the wide leg it gave me definitely more of like a, a 60s vibe and I I dig it they were like very mod retro pant and who doesn't love a groovy pant you know these, I thought they were um, capris, but they're not. They're kind of like high waters, I believe. But they're like these pinup, like stretchy waist, like denim jeans, I guess. And they're somewhat of like a skinny jean. They're very basic, but they're cute. And they're kind of like a go-to, like if you wanna wear like a funky top and pair it with like a simple bottom, this is a simple bottom that you'll go for. So I thought those were super cool. Another non-vintage piece that I loved a lot was these Hounds Tooth Print Skinny Jeans. And they're actually from H&M, which is surprising that someone would give these up because they're like in brand new condition. They have like a stretchy waist. They have just like a very modern look to them, but I love the colorway on it. Definitely perfect for fall. I need to stop saying fall because I know a lot of people are just not excited for fall, but if you have cute clothes for fall, then you'll maybe somewhat feel somewhat excited for fall. At least that's the way I try to see it. You can just wear it indoors. <laughs> okay, so these jeans, I was so, oh my God, I was like so excited for them because when I saw them, I was like, black denim and the Ralph Lauren. What? So these are like, Ralph Lauren jeans like in great condition when I saw them at first they had like white on like the knee and I was like okay well that's kind of like that's okay like they have some wear to them they'll make them look like cool but then I washed them and it went away so they're like in perfect black jean condition they're it makes me sad because they're like the perfect high-waisted like I love a high-waisted like rib cage jean where it's like right at my ribs and it's like cinches me in so nicely like I like my jeans very fitted like super fitted and these are not fitted on me they're quite big to be honest they're six petite they're hundred percent cotton which doesn't get any better than that but these are going on my Depop so for any of those who are interested these are so beautiful okay and then last but not least I did get a more late fall winter item and that's this um this vest that i found i thought it was super cool it has it's a fox fur vest and i just realized right now at this very moment that it has a zipper huh i did not know that does it work it sure does so it's this vest it looks a little big, it's a little funky, but it's so cute. It has all this leopard detailing on it and has like the, what's it called? Like these little like Asian or Chinese, I don't know to be honest, I'm sorry. Like these little claps, you can close it. This one is a little ruined, but it's okay. It's not a big deal. I'll most likely wear it open. I love that it has a zipper though. 
so it's super cute and it's like in great condition it's just like a black fox fur but i just love the leopard print i found a piece like this a while ago um with leopard and velvet and it was the best and it was an amazing piece and i told myself i don't need it you know like i don't need it but i bought it and i told myself well i'm gonna put it on my depop if it doesn't sell within like a day then then i'll keep it but then i got like then that exact same vest went on like this explorer page on depop so it sold instantly and i was like well then it was not meant to be so i'm glad it went to a good home and anyways that was the end of my thrift haul i hope you guys enjoyed it i'm sorry if i rambled a lot but i feel like most thrift hauls are me like are people just rambling about their clothing that they purchased so that's all that i got so if you guys are interested in any of these pieces they will be linked in my depop i will link my depop down below again if um you guys want to check out my friend danielle she's also going to be having a thrift haul that um obviously we went two together um her channel will be linked down below as well i love her content she does a lot of um thrift hauls and thrifting videos so if you guys are into that definitely check her out um please like and subscribe and all that jazz if you guys are interested in more videos let me know down below i will be making more thrifting content so thank you guys so much for watching i really appreciate with a lot of you guys being patient and a lot of you og people who written me throughout these whole years of me not doing youtube and like telling me to get back on it and i'm so excited to like be a little bit more consistent so let's see if that really happens and i'm excited so thank you guys so much for watching bye